There you are. All right. First vote of the day is Major Cheese. It's the Majorist Cheesiest himself. All right, Major. Playing Kaiser. Ugh. All right. Got the big Kaiser gameplay. Let's cinema mode this. All right. So, I'm playing one of the dirtiest characters known to man right now. I hope it's good. Because uh, it's not going to end well for you if it's not. <laughs> uh, it's good shit. Alright. What's my chat? There we go. I played it before it was broken. I hope so. We'll be going through a match history later and we'll be sure. Alright. Let's set some rune checks. So. <clears throat> Wait. You, you ripped this off Blitz? Hey. I hope you're doing your own research and not just copying what you see. What server is this? I don't know. You have to ask him. Anyway, Halo Blades, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, with Secondaries, Presence of Mind, and Legend Bloodline. I think this is literally a carbon copy of the build everyone uses right now. There's like a few people that divert into the inspiration tree for Boots Biscuits, but I mean, that's really just up to how hard the matchup is or how much faith you have in yourself. So, if you go on this build, I assume you just know that you are the greatest that has ever lived and walked this earth. If not, I would recommend against someone better that you go Boots Biscuits because you will probably have hard lanes. I just used it as a template and I added it from game to game. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. It was always very... I mean, to be fair, Kaiser is a pretty busted character. Let's be honest. It's just such a, like, strange sort of kit to work in with it. And it's like, this is the only kneecapping fact that we have. We fucked her range a little bit. And then it's like, oh, wait, no. Hang on. <laughs> we gave some of it back. Now she's broken. Ah, well, good enough. <laughs> good enough for us. We'll we'll roll with it from there. Right, I'm not as broken as ADT. That's a long time ago, Joker. Long time. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. I mean, it's outdated, but it makes sense. All right. Let's begin. The Doron Blade. Uh, hang on. What am I using? Actually, I wanted to test something quickly. If I do this... No, it doesn't work. Okay. Just had to test the chat. Yo, Rec. Do you always need recorded VOD or can you watch replays? So, I don't mind doing replays, but recorded VODs give much more information. I have a full criteria for this, and I recommend you follow it in there. But basically, like, I prefer actual POV VODs because they are very, very helpful to, like, for me doing your gameplay. Like, literally your gameplay. If you're, like, if you have to send me a replay because your computer's garbage. And keep in mind, I will check your specs prior to if you can record. Because a lot of people can and they just don't know how to do their, their OBS settings correctly. We'll fix that. Um, but yeah. If you literally run on some ancient-ass laptop. In which case... Uh, you have to record replays only. There is a lot more, like, things that, uh, well, not a lot more, but there's a few extra criteria that you have to do if you're going to record a replay for me. Okay. Things like uh, Fog of War, um, keeping the scoreboard available and not fucking around with the shit there. All right. So stand and hold at the try to make sure that no one's rolled in on you. I assume you're going to go around. Nice. Okay, we have a space bar hold. Is he going to keep it? Okay, he's not. Give more information, i.e. let Rex see that I press space. Okay, that is your own fault, mate. I'm just saying, was your own fault. Shouldn't have held space by the whole game. Should be a temporary hold. Good easy start. Got all the things. Ooh, cops the gin. So we are, we are Kaiser Seraphine versus Jin Janna. Sweet lord. Well, I mean, damage-wise, you will override this for most of the lane, but if you keep getting poked like that for free, it won't be very pretty. Just don't hold space as I did for years, and Rex said don't, and I didn't. Nice. The end. <laughs> I can. I'll send you one of my games one of these days so I can fulfill a dream to be on the road. No worries, man. Just, yeah, like I said, just follow the criteria. We're still open until, I believe, it's next week? Uh, and then we close for the patch, and then, yeah, we just reopen when the patch comes in. Now, the thing about this lane matchup, right, and I'm, it's not going to be bad for you, but the one thing I need you to understand, right, in almost every situation, you ha you are purely reliant on 
Hang on. You're purely relying on your ranges versus this this comp, and they outrange you. So you have to be mindful about the range that Jin can dish out abilities, plus bouncing grenade, if you know that's what you're worried for. And then Janna's W and Q, they're like the main things you have to be like mindful of range wise. Because outside of minions getting in your way for this shit, you will be outranged for every ability that you have, plus Q, etc. So you have to kind of make up for it by putting them into awkward spots so that they're either cornered and you hit them with everything of your Q or you get like early poke on them while they are CSing and you use that to your advantage to all in them with your passive plus Q. That's what you're looking for. You're never going to get like a perfect run in lane phase because of your range difference. But whilst Jin has to suffer with us with uh, the inability to actually handle the wave with uh, without an ability use, you have the ability to like work with that. That's why it sucks that a lot of rage supports are like as moon staff as a Kaiser man. I remember I mean, this, I mean, look, if you want to freely poke on a rage support, that's not really an issue. But like these are like even if they are like moon staff supports, right? They are incredibly squishy. Seraphine out survives Janna. Seraphine out damages Janna. That's what you're aiming for. You want damage. Unfortunately, this Seraphine couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. But you know, it, it with a Seraphine that seems to be like doing their job, you will know. Like, when the poke comes in, you can actually engage on that. Like that. That's not too bad, but unfortunately it was a little barrier. So, eh, 50-50. But, yeah. These are the kind of things you're aiming for. I also wouldn't recommend using W as often as you are. Or just in general. You only want to use it to, like, really secure that long-range stuff. Because, truthfully, most times, like, 9 times out of 10, you are going to just try... Just absolutely murder through your mana way too quickly. Oh, no! Mr. CS. Big sad face. And plus, you want to try and get into the habit of preparing your wave as it comes to tower. So that you can kill it easily. But yeah. Oh, look. Blitz timers. How cute. Oh, God. The Alawi double kill at level 4. Are you kidding me? That's so rare that that happens. Are you kidding? Alawi shouldn't be able to do that at level 4. That is a big screw up on your team's part, unfortunately. But yeah, the main thing you're going to run into here is that if you are purely playing into the ranges of Jin, and he's able to just freely CS, like, what with his abilities, allow his Rex smurf, hey, don't be, don't be giving him no secrets. <laughs> but yeah, the main thing is that if you're getting stuck in this situation, it's purely because you know you're being outranged, but you're playing a lot, like, you're playing really hardcore into, like, their win condition oh lord you stood there yeah so let's not stand there <laughs> but yeah the main thing is that you want to just make sure that you're not playing into their like ranged game and you either are just playing back for the cs or you're only moving forwards when they've spent their abilities on the wave i'm trying too hard to, yeah, you're definitely trying too hard to force an advantage like you are 100 percent over the <coughs> The fact that you had to waste that purely out of fear, now you've spent both your summoners for nothing. You want to avoid that play ever happening ever again. It's nice that your team roamed down, but you shouldn't have had to have spent all those cooldowns for that. If I was playing against Rex, i I just ult her for at minute one. Oh, That's so sweet. Giving me a free win like that. Why? Why would you ult her for against me, Matt? This is literally my hand. If you actually are losing to this, like, come on. Really? There is a Seth and a Beth on your team. Anyone else notice that? If you play Yumi, you only need one hand. Yeah, but that one hand would still be shakier than hell. I overestimate your capabilities. Look, man, I taught you. You should be good enough, at the very least, Joker. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> oh, hey, Potato. I'm all right. How you doing, man? Having a having a rough one. Now, CS wise, you're at least keeping up with uh, with what's expected of you in the app, which is nice. I that's despite you being shunted back early. So just think about it. If you if that wasn't happening and you weren't in such an awkward spot and you didn't miss that cannon under tower either, think about the gold like think about the gold spike you'd be in right now. Every second I watch, I regret turning this well, but good for learning, so we <laughs> 
everyone just feels the pain of their own problems when that comes around, huh? Also, try to... Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. When it comes down to this, you should try and wait for the tower to actually attack the specific minions so you can kill them with your autos. And then if it doesn't, you start autoing the rest of them so you can kill them all with Q. You don't have the ability to just wave clear that way unless Seraphine helps you. So either communicate that or don't do what you just did. Also, why would anyone want to play Yumi? Really? I'm not crazy enough to play Yumi. I value my uh, self-respect. Could we just push hard? Yeah, push bot, push bot. Do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free LP? Eh, I don't know. I have a, I have a bigger pride problem. My pride is worth more than my arbitrary LP number. Also, you should really be hard shopping this. At least starting on the back part of the wave rather than the front. Because you want them to Boy, lose. Wreck. You want them to lose by roaming elsewhere. I saw that. Where is that? What is this? <laughs> Potato donated 20 bucks. If you're going to have a rough one, have a rough one with 20 bucks. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. It means a lot. Believe me. <sighs> Is the quality of the stream diving? Now, I better go back to what was there before I got distracted. So the main thing you want to do is you want to shove this way forwards. You want to shove this way forward so that the enemy actually loses out for that roam. You need that. You need that actual like a like win on your side. If you don't do if you don't get anything from that, then you just automatically lose out in lane. My friend plays her because she thinks Yumi is cute and she likes enchanters. Slinks. But yeah. You should go for the base here because you don't have any mana and it would be good to come back with like a slight leg up on your opponent. But now you're going to try and fight this without the mana. And I swear if Janna lives because you don't have the mana to finish her, I'm going to be pissed. But just as an example, right? Like you see like Jin spend dancing grenade to clear this back wave. That gives you a window, right? And if you're aware of that window, that's when you can go for trades. Because if he doesn't have like a fourth shot up and you're able to go ahead for that damage, that's what you should be looking for. Uh, try to freeze it like here rather than there. Because you, you want it to be away from the bush and you want it to <clears throat> be closer to your side so that it's harder for them to run back if anything happens. As it's about to do. Uh, gross. Well, Katarina's on the way down there. This is good. Just just keep baiting. Just keep baiting. That's good. Where's Cat? Cat, go! What are you doing? Uh, Cat failed. If Cat just committed to that, that was free. Unfortunate. She doesn't play, play ranked willingly. That's probably a good thing. But yeah. Now you're kind of basing on the back foot here. At least if you're fast enough, you can actually make it back for the cannon. Oh no, she's shoving it. What the? Oh dear. Also, small note for the future. I don't really see this happening a lot. I don't really see you being put in a good spot to do this. But I do think you still need the Noon Quiver component first before you commit to the Gale Force. Uh, sorry, before you commit to the, the Lethality component, the, the Serrated Dirk. I think you still want the quiver part before you go to the dirt. I understand that you were like done, down for money there, but yeah, just a just a thought for future process. You didn't buy a ward, sad face. I think she saw. Her. I'm pretty sure she walked into a pink in the river, but you still want to like capitalize by doing the roam as fast as possible if it's a if it's a doable thing. It really depends on the situation. If you have all in potential, I like Dirk more. Do you, well, okay. It's one thing to have all in potential, but you're going to have an issue, right, with the actual ability to do anything with your all in if you play the lane the way you did. So I would rather you go the safe route and farm than try to do. Not that I had them. You did have it, but you just didn't play it correctly to work with that. Like you're playing with a mage support. Oh dear. You're playing with a mage support who is totally capable of, like, doing damage. And if you want to create that possibility for you, you want to be able to, like, be up 
in the lane to do that, but you haven't like made that out for you. Slight minutiae thing. If they're a Kaiser one trick, do they know they can AC the evolves? Do people like? Oh, that was good damage. Do people actually try to like animation cancel evolves in the open? Like, oh, that's that's good. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. Eh, you're so slow. Oh no. Oh, you got juked. I wouldn't even call it a juke. Actually, it just just a giant mistake. You can dive that, surely. Except you wasted a sad face. I would have waited till you walked up to tower. For a second there, I thought you flashed. It was just a camera locking. Whew. But yes, apart from that kill being slightly stolen, which I don't care for because truthfully, it, they had to die either way. Um, it's more of a yeah, it's a, it's a rough situation to be in if you aren't prepared for the fight. So, you're looking at that... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a Zinzao. But yeah, you're trying to look for, like, the ability to fight when you have the, like, the upper hand. And when you came in with Dirk, for instance, and you wanted to go for the all-in potential versus a Jin, you wait for the window of them not having any ability to, like, do that. You would just be able to walk up in that window, and you would go for it then, right? If you mind control three to quick cast, you can control three plus the evolve. It will cast E and evolve in the background. Well, there you go. If you get the stats in it, if I could use the same with W cards. Look, I don't mind this idea, right? But I think the thing that bugs me about this is that, honestly, and I'm not like ragging on Kaisa one tricks and shit here, right? But I look at this and I think to myself, if you ever have to really like evolve in a team fight that means that your item spike is way off that's what i think and i feel like that's like that's like the biggest issue is that if you come like you're either just way off with that it's just a thing i find the recall to be less practical no, but i mean like you should already have it done like you will always evolve in base by default and like you should be able to do it i don't want you to just in my pool so i set that up i mean that's fine welcome either way But I feel like purely in the case of setting... Oh, Lord. Why do you keep walking into that? Look how much damage you just took because you walked right into that, that window. You already got, like, a half-decent poke. You do not need to follow this. If your plan was to dodge this with R and then continue the fight, then sure. No worries. But why on earth would you actually walk into this with no abilities up? You have no abilities. Like, you have literally no abilities up. So why on earth would you walk into this fight knowing exactly what's going to happen here? I just realized I'm a dumbass and I still have my one of the ah go away. But yeah, like why would you you have no abilities available? Oh lord, why is that so big? Hang on, I fixed that. That's too small. Hang on. <laughs> why is this happening? Eh Is that the one? That's the one. But yeah, like why on earth would you walk into this without the ability to do to do more from here? You don't have the damage. You don't have the, like, size doesn't matter, man. Can you see that small line? Because I can't. But yeah, like, what is the point in going for that, like, further trade from there when you have no damage? <laughs> MB. Yeah, there's, there's your answer. <laughs> damage. Free damage. Hey, there you go. See? Easy. When you do it with the damage available, it's free. If you do it without the damage available, you take a fat trade to the face. That's not comfortable. Hey, Corn, how you doing, mate? Thank you for following Cloud IG. I assume that's Cloud IGN. Unfortunately, I don't... I assume that's Korean. I don't read it. I'm very bad at reading other languages. But I think that's Korean. Thank you for following David Lola. Trading in league is like dancing. You need to know when to go forward and backward. Imagine having two left feet in that like regard and just stepping on everyone's toes and just making everyone angry. That multifaceted explanation works in league and in pretty much everything. Don't worry. I try not to. <clears throat> but I'm trying to get it right every step of the way. You are very much screwed here. 
I don't see you being able to help Graves with anything for this, but you are a minute away. But why would you W that? That's a waste of mana. Green alphabet is easier than Western alphabet. Seriously? Imagine having two left feet, bro. I don't need to imagine. I got you. <laughs> I totally get it. Nice block. And then you walked into the tornado. Bruh. Oh, no. Remember, you got to be inside the arc if you want to damage him there. But that's fine. Oh, no. Graves just died. Oh, the smoke screen is OP. That was just so silly by everyone involved there. I don't even know why. At least he's going to die under the tower. Ulti? 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 Well, now you can't. You had the chance, and now... Uh, Alright, fine. 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 You had the chance before, but I was very nervous about the situation you were in there, but that's okay. Oh god. Oh god, it's Echo. Sweet lord. Just run. No, just run! <laughs> wait, he went... Wait! He went after the cat! Oh, that's so free. You have double buffs in the abyss. No, don't walk into that. Oh, if you didn't walk into that, you would have killed him. Oh, that's a fucking F. Can I get some Fs in the chat? <laughs> so just, just for like argument's sake, I'm just going to just discuss this quickly and then I'm going to answer your boys discussion in chat. But yeah, when this happens under tower and you tag her, if you're worried about getting damaged on under the turret, you can literally alt forwards if you wanted to. It's not a good idea, but I'm really worried about the situation you put yourself in here without being able to get the shield. And I want the shield so that you can actually block the damage you're about to take from Jin. Now, in saying that, the whole burst line would have actually started pretty well out for you because now you know Katarina's here anyway. But, I mean, baiting them in even further is not a bad thing here because Jin takes that many turret shots that this makes this free. So that's okay. But the main thing you got to be careful with when you go for this part is you've already got, like, everything happening here. Now, we've got to talk about range. While it's unfortunate that you step on the Jin trap, I would rather you do one of the following. You know that he has nothing to walk in with here, so you have to keep dancing at your at your max range. This is good. Because he doesn't have E and he can't get on you here. You stay away from his shadow, even better. That's good. Now, the main thing is that you wanted to keep your E available so that when you saw him casting this, you could dodge away from it and then move down towards him to be able to kill him. But unfortunately, you walk headlong straight into it and you get vaporized. Big sad face. <clears throat> What's my rank in League? My rank is irrelevant, my friend, because I actually can't play the game anymore. Not properly, anyway. A lot of my issues are purely due to... Like, purely due to uh, illness and injury. So there's a whole spiel of it down in the description, but basically, I have Crohn's disease and I have uh, a, a neck injury that kind of make it very hard for me to do things. So I don't play no more. And in an effort to uh, to really embody the meaning of those who can't do teach, I am here to coach everyone instead. Rank is a representative of understanding the game. Well, I used to be actually be pretty good at the game. That's the thing. <laughs> I used to actually be quite good. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I had to trade away uh, the potential of a pro career for uh, a full-time job and for work and for illness. And then illness took over and now I'm just a bum. I'm just a bum that gives away free coaching. I just noticed how well your background aligns with the overlay. Isn't it nice? I tried to get it to work for the longest time. And the problem is now I actually can't make the rest of the overlay work correctly. Because uh, this is actually a template sent by somebody ages ago. We don't actually have the original. It was just sent to me as an image. And I can't do anything about it. <laughs> as much as I want someone to be able to recreate this. I can't get that done without that person. I, and the, the problem is I don't remember their name. Because they emailed it to me. They literally emailed it to me all that time ago. This was like in the first year I started coaching. And uh, yeah, they emailed it to me all that time ago. And unfortunately, I have not seen them since. So I don't remember their name. I don't remember any details about them. But if you're out there, thank you. What the hell was that? Chat. 
Jeez. Can we just forget that you actually... Jeez. Jeez! Oh! Anyone else having a... Ah! Jesus! Everything about that play was scary. And I don't even think Cheese knows that. Panther even tagged the wrong guy. That's that's how that's how much murder that Cheese just got away with. <laughs> like, he just even got tagged. But the wrong person got tagged. Even. <laughs> oh, my lord. What the hell was that, man? Just... I'm not even worried about the Jin missing everything. It was just the fact that you took that fight in the first place. That was the worst part. You shouldn't have even taken that fight. It was unnecessary. It was just wait for the wave and just farm it under the ch under the tower and you were dandy. Also, I'm not a major. You are to me. What kind of major, we'll figure out later. But that's not the point. I said, they just rift tower to the top side, right? You should probably help with that. Oh no. I'm so glad that Zin is literally a loot bag that can just give you free money. Please don't walk into this. You know how this is going to go. Just kill the kill the tentacle. Kill the tent. Just kill the tentacle and it's okay. Kill the tentacle. No, up oh, you're dead. Come on, bro. Oh. Well, at least that allowed was bad enough to not just engage it at the beginning, but oh god, I just had to watch you just do that three times in a row. My set of audits says what I already know where I need to improve. I mean <clears throat> it's one thing to know, but obviously yeah, there's the whole doing thing which is a problem. But the other hard part, which is always going to be... That's unfortunate your W didn't hit there. If your W didn't clip that minion, you probably would have been able to ult in. Sad face. But yeah, it's not just about like knowing what you need to do. It's more the fact that there are probably things you wouldn't notice or ways that you can actually do it that you haven't gone to someone about. And it's probably helpful to still pop in with a video. So yeah, pop in the Discord. Get me a VOD. Do it. Fucking Katarina's going in. Uh, Seraphine? So you're all going to spend this whole time on the back foot wandering around in your base, which is a bit scary. I'm a little worried, though. You have, like, objectives coming up soon. There's no preparation for that. And you still haven't placed it. You should switch to Blue Trinket by now. Truthfully, you should. You definitely should. In case you don't have the criteria, Cloud Might, that's, it's all there. Follow that. Fury hates me to no end that you can't fight a Lowry to reduce the rest. No, you can't. They removed it, uh a little while ago they removed uh the ability to fight her to uh to to take away the uh, uh the vessel the thing that stands there they took it away uh late uh early last year no uh, late in 2019 so that she could be a better bruiser threat in top lane now the problem that that has created is that it's actually almost impossible for you to do anything into a Lowry if she hits you with E. However, if you play it mid-range against the Lowry, it's very hard for her to hit it by default. So truthfully, if you are playing to dodge it, you will actually be able to dodge it generally, because it's a crappy ability. You should be able to cleanse it. It's not a debuff. Like a, It's not like a CC of any sort. It's just a death. It's like a death mark. It's literally a death mark, but cooler. Okay, that turned Come out. Get some. That didn't turn out too terribly. Wait, wait. Okay, good. This with the tier one for eight months. Mucho loved it. RLCS grand finals ended. Good to see you streaming. I am alive. This is not going to go well. No, well, now you fucked. <laughs> Does this lead to? Oh no! They're taking your whole base. You shouldn't have even followed him there. I think you should have actually just left, like, this whole fight to die. That's GG. That's literally going to end it right there, isn't it? Yeah. That is tough. 
but yeah, the Alawi E is very slow. And it's very narrow. So it's actually, like, a lot harder than you think to land. You just have to be able to, like, to know two things. One, it's a 20 second cooldown. So when you make her miss it, stand, like, stand in the mini wave so that she misses it. And you just, like, you have a 20 second window in lane phase. <clears throat> Up to, like, 10. They all on it, allow you 100%. Dude. If, if an Alawi gets that much free time on that side of the map, then fucking A, you you give her that honor. I just don't like how it removed counterplay. I agree, truthfully. I agree. Like, it was a counterplay that was required, and I would have rather they put it into something else. Truthfully, I would rather they get rid of her E, or, like, the functionality of her E in that regard, and just make it into, like, a pull. Like, a targeted pull. And you can pull that person in, and if they can't get away from you in, like, three seconds, then they become a vessel. Something like that. I, I just would rather the ability to, like, have... I, I would rather the ability to engage in some way, shape, or form rather than th that stupid shit if I was playing Alawi. Okay. Major Cheese. What on earth was that? If we're sure we call this one a jungle diff. Smile. Like Yorick Cage, but cooler. Yeah? I kind of want to think of it like a targeted like a targeted hook that kind Don't of like, like a tether. Like... Like Karma W, but uh, with like a, with a bit more functionality to it. Now, <clears throat> the other one I kind of forgot about Spotify. Oh, that's all right. Look, if you send me ones with music, and I will just mute it. It's not an issue. It's just it helps to have sound instead, so that it's not just the sound of my voice killing you all. I love it if Alaria more sustain of a poke, so you can win the war of attrition in a lane pretty easily. I mean, you get a pretty good if you do land your tentacles. Like it is quite good. Generally, it is. It's just very difficult to like make the whole game work with you in that regard. Anyway. Control World's purchase three. Honestly, I was expecting there to be at least one more, but then there was this issue as well of just not placing wards in, in the early game. I think that was kind of the thing. After your first lane phase, like, for Cocta, that was, a, that was a fight near Dragon, you forgot to place wards after that. And that really needed to just... That really needed to come forward there. That plus the really crappy fights you took into, into Jin one-on-one, or the... <clears throat> really awkward placing you got generally those kinds of things you don't know good placement here look i'll give you the most basic version of award scheme you will ever need right this has served everyone well for a million years i suggest you all save it this is the most basic i'm just going to put this on screen as well so you can all see it hang on so i'm going to be able to see this so this is the most basic version of award scheme that i like that i got from uh from some i don't even remember where i found this either way Omnius University, as they put it, have uh, established this lovely little warding scheme. Now, the best thing about this, right, is that all of these ward positionings are still relevant today, regardless of the fact that there's absolutely zero, like, m the, of the map adjustments. Like, there's no map adjustments here. Now, I get that, like, there's no uh, alcove and there's no other shit there, but who cares? No one cares about that. They're not useful. The main things you care about are the wards that you see here. So the color is matched to the side you're on, and they're the... They're the more direct, like, uses that you're going to have generally. The grey ones are for both sides. So for safety nets, for defensive uses, all that, right? You, if you're, even if you are blue side, generally, you can still put, like, this pink ward, like, version one here to actually keep a safe idea, right? Right, was considering removing the, they don't provide anything. It was nice that they were put there, but they, I thought, like, they were going to add some sort of mini objective to it. It would be something that would be, like, you know, there for, right? But yeah, I want you all to use this map to your advantage and just keep an eye on it. Because honestly, it just gives... It's a very versatile, like, ward map generally. Because the ones that are literally labeled as enemy ones are ones you can look for with control wards or lenses too. So just keep an eye out. Like, this is the simple shit that people go for because it's like, oh, we have an area, a honey fruit. Like, literally anything. Put anything in the alcove. I would just be so happy for it. Honestly, if they put a honey fruit there, I feel like it would just induce some crazy shit. But the problem is if you're ahead and you get honey fruit, it's too oppressive. But yeah, keep that as an eye for that. Now, build-wise, again, I have a few gripes about the order you built in. But honestly, you came out to the right spot and you did the you did the job damage-wise for 
the abysmal early game that you had. I think the odd thing though is that you actually were keeping up in CS generally, but you just you just made it so hard on yourself by taking really crappy fights. And because of that, you just didn't <clears throat> you didn't get like any sort of generalized lead against him as well because he just kept being able to push you back and you kept fighting into the crappiest like spots ever. Try to avoid that. Try to avoid fighting in the like those really silly situations so that you can at least get a farm lead, get that fight that you were aiming for in bot lane, use that to take the tower, and then lane swap. Because you gotta get over to the other side and actually like move there. Because you had to do something about the Alawi absolutely stomping through top lane. <sighs> but yeah, all your CS le levels were just way too low because, again, you just took crappy fights early on. You cheesed yourself out of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of, that's the hardest part about trying to make comebacks in this game, right? Is if you just keep trying to force silly fights when the, when the enemy has everything, you don't win. But if they spend stuff and then you go for it, you have a better chance. But unfortunately, unfortunately, you just put yourself in such crappy situations over and over again. And you just, you got slapped for it. Apparently, this is challenger level CS, but I don't agree. It could be better. So, nah. but yeah, your vision score was awful. <laughs> Switching to okay, switching to blue trigger that late, I don't mind it. But switching to blue trigger that late when you don't use your wards generally, big mistake. I know people hate me for harping on about wards so much, but you will thank me once you start remembering. You will thank me. Until then, I don't give a shit. You can be as angry at me as you want, but I am still right. Glad we sorted that out. When I remember, I win. <laughs> when I don't, I don't. Should we just staple it to your forehead and let you walk in with it, Joker? That'll sort you out, right? Right? Surely. <laughs> Either way, thank you, Major Cheese, for your video. 